Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 10 and in this lesson we're going to take a look at how we write messages to the document and the console. Wow. Alright ninjas, so this is going to be a relatively quick lesson. I just wanted to show you a couple of techniques that I use to test certain things um, and they include writing messages or variables or values to the console, which is this thing here or to the document, which is this here, all right? So, I'm just gonna make a variable first of all. We use the keyword var, and we'll call it my var equals, and then I'll do Sean, which is my name, all right? So, my var now equals Sean. Now, if I wanted to write that out to the document here, say I wanted to see what was in a certain variable, okay, and I wanted to write it to the document. I can do that by saying document, dot write and then within these parentheses here I just pass through the variable my var and then what will happen is on this left side here we'll get the variable value pop up there okay and we can also write it out to the console here and the way we do that is just by writing console dot log and then brackets again same thing we put my var and then it's going to write out Sean the value of this here into the console all right, so you don't need to worry too much about this here, what we're doing. These are just built-in functions in JavaScript, okay? Uh, this document is an object, and this write is a method, okay? And we're going to go through objects and methods later on. This console is a built-in object, and this log is a method, all right? So don't worry too much about the syntax or the way I'm constructing these different things now. I just wanted to show you these two different ways of writing to the document and the console because we're going to use them to check the value of certain um, variables as we go along through this course. Okay, And we can do it with anything we want. It doesn't have to be a var uh, variable. We can say document.write and then give it a value like 10. And then that's going to put 10 up here. Um, and it's just going to place it right next to the other one. Or we could say console.log50. Um, and we could even pass through formulas. We could say console, oops, console.log and say 20 times 5, which should be 100, right? Yep, gives us 100. And document.write. And we'll say. Um, 20 divided by 5, which should be 4, right? Yeah, and it comes out with 4 there. Okay, so these are really cool and easy ways to test your variables or different types of code that you want to output to the console. And we're going to be using them quite frequently within this playlist. So if you have any questions about them whatsoever, feel free to comment down below. I'll answer all of those. Otherwise, if you enjoy these videos, please like, share or subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.